How's it going, guys? Today I have a sort of show and tell kind of review for you. I've got my uh, Fusions 1911, Fusions Firearms 1911, chambered in Roland 460. I call this my bear gun. Uh, this gun is actually made for fly fishing in Alaska when I go. So I don't have to carry a big old sledgehammer like an S&W 500 or a full-size 44 Magnum, which this Roland 460 takes the place of. I got uh, Aluma grips, custom-made grips for my firearm, as well as a GS holster. The fine guys at GS holster worked me up a holster that no one else would do. And then we have some Underwood ammo I'll show you as well. Keeping with this theme. Okay, seeing how I don't have a actual camera set up, I've done it this way. Chamber's clear, no magazine, ta da da. I don't want to get yelled at saying firearm safeties, I suck. Okay, what we have here is the Roland 460 Fusions Firearms made by the fine folks at Fusions, Bob Serva and Dave, the actual technician who put hand to metal to form this 1911 for me. Uh, as you can see, we have Novak night sights, fully adjustable. We have Magna porting up front, which unfortunately Fusion doesn't actually do porting on their weapons. They send it out to uh, Magna port to get done. And as you can see, my beautiful grips that just came in today. I figured I'd show them off as well as others. Things that I will get to, just not on this video because I'm trying to keep it short. Short and sweet, people like it that way. The trigger measures out at three and a half pounds again we already saw that it was safety check light squeeze beautiful crisp trigger I threw a TRL one on there TLR one on there not for tactical reasons not for any of that BS for the simple fact that when you're fly fishing and you're coming back it's a little dark sometimes you need a little extra light to make sure you're you're aiming at what you're aiming at so that's the purpose of that light okay so now we have some underwood ammo 460 rolling rounds on the left we have 200 grain extreme penetrators now I don't know if you're familiar with the extreme penetrators themselves but they are a hell of a round. They do penetrate deep. The reason why I bought those rounds, again, this is not a self-defense gun. This is bear go away gun. You want to be able to crack the skull of the bear or whatever is coming at you with one shot and put it down. Now, the 230 grain would also serve the same purpose, but not a grizzly. <laughs> You can take down this black bear, or, which I'm going to try doing one day, a hog hunt. Now, if you actually do the foot-pounds of force, the 230 grain at 1,400 feet per second roughly runs about 1,001 foot-pounds of force. Boy, oh boy, that's like taking a shotgun and putting it directly to someone's chest and pulling the trigger. Now the 200 grains were around uh, maybe like 923. I don't have the actual math numbers for you. But they're both really good rounds. And I'll show you on the next clip the actual rounds themselves. On the left, you have the extreme penetrators. These rounds are a copper solid round that are milled down to make this cross-shaped pattern. If you do a little research online, Lehigh Valley, I believe, is the actual manufacturer of the bullet itself. These rounds do penetrate amazingly well. 
would not have a problem cracking a skull with this one. And we just have a typical jacket at hollow point. Looks like a, almost like a nozzler to me. I'm not sure if it is a nozzler. I'm not sure of the make, but it does look like a nozzler. So those are the two rounds I'll be using mostly out of this weapon. All right. And now we have our 460 Roland chest rig for my 1911. Now, the problem is with most rigs, and anything in 1911, if you have a 6-inch long slide, no one will make or try to make a holster for you. Where Greg Swanson just asked me to send him a photo of my 1911. He basically used one of his 1911s with the very similar frame and uh, TL TLR1 light. And it actually came out very well. I'm very happy with the holster itself. As you can see, it does fit. Hold on. I'm sorry. Like I said, I don't have a camera set up. Very snug. Very tight. You can hear it by the way it snapped. And it, the chest rig is really fairly nice. And uh, we have a spare mag, single stack, obviously, for a 1911 on here. And the quality is... Very good. This Kydex holster made by Greg Swanson at GS Holsters. It's a very good holster. Love it. And uh, I was glad that I actually found him because, like I said, I was having all kinds of issues trying to find someone to make me a holster for my long slide. Okay, going back to the firearm itself. As you can see, I sent a picture to Aluma Grips. And they were able to laser etch the image on to the grips that I wanted from them. And uh, I'm really happy with the way they look. They came out really beautiful. Now, also, we're going to... I know it's gotten pouring a little off now, but... If you look at this barrel, you see the reverse crown? That is beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship right there. Now, I'm not saying they're the only ones that can do it. I know there's a lot of firearms manufacturers that do it. But this is really, really a sec exceptional the way they have done this. They've also placed a spring co spring system in here. Dual stage spring. So you have your normal recoil spring. I believe there's a 26 pound recoil spring in this firearm. I'm not 100% sure. And then we have the secondary uh, spring co spring system. That's something else you guys might want to look into, your 1911 fans, if you want to use some hotter loads in your guns. Or if you're just stepping up to like a 45 Super. And those springs themselves will slow down the slide quite considerably and reduce the amount of recoil on the weapon itself. But as you can see, everything is polished stainless steel, except for the trigger. Trigger itself is aluminum. That's the only thing I hate, but, you know, you can't always have everything you want. No one makes a stainless steel trigger. We have a magwell, as you can see, which was very, very finely done by the work. You can see how tight the joint lines are in this. This gun was put together very, very well. Beaver tail grip safety. It's a grease that I've, because I just cleaned it up, and uh, I'm going to take her back out and fire her up again. We're going to work her in, and we're going to get her done. And she's going to be 100%. Uh, uh, so the uh, fine folks of Fusion, Fusion were able to uh, put, engrave the bear paw that I wanted onto the slide itself. They pretty much can do anything that you want there. Of course, like everything else, there's a price attached. So... I hope you liked the video. If not, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but this is a pretty good gun. And I think you guys would enjoy the services from Fusion Firearms, GS Holsters, Underwood Ammo, and Aluminum Grips. And no, I don't work for them, and they haven't given me any freebies. Although I wish they would have. Thanks, guys.